we're going to continue to review combining like terms and also adding polynomials. These are two different polynomials being added together, but notice that there's parentheses. Because we're adding, we don't actually need those parentheses. So we can do a rewrite where we write the exact same thing, 2x plus 3y plus 4x minus 7y. Now it looks like what we had in the first video. Now we notice that 2x and 4x look the same. They are like terms. We also notice that 3y and negative 7y are like terms. 2x plus 4x will give us 6x. 3y minus 7y will give us negative 4y's, and that's our answer, 6x minus 4y. We don't need the parentheses because we're adding. As another example, we have x squared minus 6x plus 3 plus 7x squared minus 8x. We don't need the parentheses once again, so I did a rewrite by getting rid of the parentheses. Notice x squared and 7x squared look the same, and there's a 1 in front of that x squared right here. So 1 of something plus 7 of something will give us that 8x squared that we'll see in a second. Now we have negative 6x and negative 8x. Those look the same. And this plus 3 doesn't really have a partner, and that's OK. Like I said before, x squared plus 7x squared gives us that 8x squared. Negative 6x minus 8x in blue gives us that negative 14x. And the plus 3 has no partner, and that's OK. You just leave it as plus 3. So the final answer is 8x squared minus 14x plus 3. Now go ahead and watch the video on subtracting polynomials.